Now I will discuss a few psychology models. But before that I will start with few words about burnout. There are many debates related to burnout. Uh, if you read some work by Wilmer Schafeli, Arno Bakker or Christina Maslach, uh, you will see what issues are, you know, always arising. One is depression-burnout relationship. Is there a need for separate disorder? Because so, there are so many similar symptoms. And the second one is burnout engagement relationship is burnout just a lowest level of employee engagement world health organization in classification international classification of diseases introduced burnout as something that is syndrome whatever that means exclusively related to work that has three characteristics. One is being, you know, emotionally, mentally, physically uh, drained, exhaustion. The other one is, you know, losing control over what your, you know, responsibilities, uh, you're feeling like falling apart, you cannot keep up. And third one is like a heart of burnout. Cynicism. I'm a different person. I became negative and I'm, you know, grumpy and I have bad attitudes towards my company, employees and so on. So this would be hard to burn out now. We so on the opposite pole would be engagement, meaning vigor. I have power and strength, endurance. I can work for, you know, many hours without getting tired. And then absorption or flow. Time just is flying by and dedication meaning positive emotions and enthusiasm and you know spark this is all related to GDR model job demands resources when demands are rising you know more energy more effort more uh, workload and so on then should also support be rising this means we are draining our emotional mental physical resources and they are insufficient for all the demands so by giving more support our mental emotional personal resources are rising and we can handle these demands if there is no equality in ability to handle situation stress and frustration for instance if a person is not able to deal with some situation we say emotional mental personal resources are inadequate for demands of situation and this leads to frustration and negative emotions of high arousal which the person is not able to process so instead of dealing with a problem a person can do something basic like being aggressive so aggression is in a way regain control or at least sense of control because for aggression there is no need for competence for instance model from Ichak Isaac I think it's him and I think this is his name is Basically, if you want to change someone's behavior, you have to change this person's attitudes that are based on culture, 
personality, uh, stress proneness, uh, thresholds for alarm, positive or negative bias, and so on. Then we have something which is called social norm or social pressure on a person. You know, need to comply, pressure to comply, and sense of control. So we should, instead of getting angry, try to increase our sense of control. And this is by reminding ourselves on something that is called self-efficacy, that we have capabilities and knowledge to deal with the situation. Second, appraisal of this situation as something that can be solved by use of normal amounts of effort, something that we did maybe hundreds of times before. So this is another model, it's called protection motivation theory is called. So we are increasing the importance of some assignment. Okay, this is already present, but now we are changing beliefs about our self-efficacy. This is a sense of control. And we are regaining, you know, motivation. And, and if it's influencing the other person, then instead of get defensive, but we should try to increase this person's self-efficacy, reminding him uh, you're talented, uh, you're